How to improve your sales letters. Good morning, and, or good afternoon, or good evening, or hello. Depends when you're listening to it. It's the Marketing for Owners podcast, another episode with me, John Butt. It's always me, as you know, if you listen to them every day. What we give you is information to help you create a self-marketing business. In actual fact, it can help you create a self-managing business if you if you really want to know. But on the podcast, give general little tips to improve your marketing, to make it easy for clients to come to you in, a, in an almost autopilot way. A lead to just come and it just makes it so much easier because it's not as difficult as you think if you just know a little couple of tweaks. So today we're going to talk about sales letters. Now, firstly, I guess it would make sense for me to explain what I mean by a sales letter. Um, by that, I mean any form of communication that goes from you to a potential client or to a client. So this could be the copy on your website. This could be a, a quotation that goes out. This could be an email. Anything that would describe your products or your services where you hope to get uh, eventually a sale, a purchase from your potential client. It's very, very simple to improve. I read many of these and I see them on online and offline and coming to me all every day of all sorts. And in general, most of these are, are just not very well thought out. And it's not, it's nobody's fault. It's, it's simply that we haven't thought about it because we're too busy with other things. And there's no easy access to the knowledge. Now I learned this through experience and paying expensive people to find out these details, very successful people who make lots of money using these processes. But in basic terms, you have to remove the we from your copy, from your letters, because if you keep starting sentences and paragraphs with the word we, then it tends to all be about you. Whereas the client or the potential client is only interested in how you can affect their lives. They are not interested in you, us. They're only interested in their own end. Now, this may seem a bit wishy-washy or you might think it's all do psychology and so on. And maybe it is, but it is the way it works. And it's a, it's a way of thinking. If you change the way you write these things and change the perspective from your point of view to their point of view, then it changes everything. Now, the easy way to, a better way to explain this is when you're explaining um, your product, you generally explain it in terms of features, the things about it. So uh, it is made in the USA. It has a five-year lifespan. It has a three-year guarantee. It's everything about the product. However, what you're in effect doing to get the person to buy it is solving their problem and helping them have a better, a better life, a better day, a better business, a better something. You're improving something. So they need to know how that affects them. Now, you therefore need to convert those features into benefits. They need to be benefits, benefits to the client. And I'm going to give you one simple way to do that. So for instance, if you say it has a three year guarantee, that is a feature. And this is how you improve your sales letters. Just add this at the end, so that, okay, simple, two words, six letters, so that. It has a three year guarantee, so that you don't have, etc. You don't have to worry about. Think of that on the end of every feature sentence, every bullet point. Then you get to word it into them. So you're explaining, so that for you, it's, do you get that? It does work. This seriously does work. Go open up, um, go do search on Google, look up some websites and look at the About Us page. 
or the front page. It says, welcome to our website or something like that. What a waste, what a waste of words. And where it, on the About Us page, go and look, it says, we are a, and, and it, it will say, uh, you know, you're looking up something like Joe's Landscape Gardening, it will say, we are a landscape gardening company. What a waste of words. <laughs> It's obvious what you are, it's in your title. Yes, about us, but real about, but how many of those sentences start with we? Now you're gonna say, but it's about us. It still doesn't have to be like that. You can explain the benefit to the client. You, you may be this way, and the benefit is to you is whatever. So think of it, always being from the client's point of view. Now, you, if you apply that to your quotations, um, and you, instead of saying, we, we include, or if you have to say, we include X, say, so that you, yeah, think of it in a benefit to them. This really seriously does work. Been doing this for many, many years, back in the, uh, for, I mean a long time, like 20 odd years using this process and it does not fail. So if anyone ever writes copy for me, if anyone would ever write web pages, I would ask them to go back and try and remove as many instances of the word we as possible and replace them with the word you where possible and change the perspective. Simple as that. I, I, don't worry, it's going to work. Don't be scared. <laughs> Okay, so today is a Monday, <coughs> and we always have a book for the week. Today I want to give you some inspiration. So today's, uh, this week's book is The Magic of Thinking Big by David J. Schwartz. That's Dr. Schwartz, Dr. David Schwartz. Don't know what he's a doctor of, but he is one of the leading motivational writers in, um, in uh, it, it just is. What he does, this is a good read. This is a, a good read. It's not a very long book, it's, uh, so it's easy. You can get it on Audible, but very simple. He proves that you do not need to be an intellectual or to have an innate talent to, to get great success and satisfaction. But you do need to learn and understand the habit of thinking and behaving in ways that will get you there. So he explains how to think big, how to think in a way that will get you a better job, get you better results. A lot of people, uh, so, no, hang on, I was going to say about negativity. This is not about not being negative. This is just being about the way of thinking bigger. Because if you go for things, you can get them. It is a good book. I think you'll thoroughly enjoy it. Go try it out. I'll be back tomorrow.